Hey, everyone. I wanted to give you a little bit of an energy update and talk about really the future, what's going to be occurring in the first few months of 2023. We have an amazing, amazing time right now. You don't hear me say this often, but there are no planets in retrograde at the moment, and there won't be for some time. So I know a lot of times we talk about, oh, it's Mercury retrograde, which just recently ended. It's a time for me where I tend to struggle a little bit. We get that tugging, that pulling on our energetic field. It brings stuff up from within for us to, to feel a lot of wounds from the past and things like that, that we have to work our way through. But with no planets in retrograde, everything is direct, meaning that our path forward can become clear. We could start to see the next steps, step by step by step. Now, how do we go about doing this? Well, we're going to get into this period now where it's going to feel a little bit strange when we don't have, um, you know, everything's direct. We don't have anything in retrograde. It feels a little bit strange. For me, it's been a very quiet period, quiet mind. Not a whole lot seems to bother me. Even when something comes up that would normally trigger me, it's just kind of like water just rolling off me right now. You know, I'll recognize it. The shell of a program might come up. The shell, empty shell of programming might come up and be, my ego is going to say, hey, that's something you should be really pissed off about. But it just ain't there. The charge isn't there. So I'm in this space, me personally right now, of almost just sitting in this quiet space, in this void. It's a little bit uncomfortable. I've talked about the spiritual void before. But I'm kind of just sitting here waiting for whatever is next for me to, to rise up to come forward. Now, I'm not going to say I don't have any ideas or anything, um, but the energy, the motivation, the direction on which way to go, I'm kind of just sitting in here feeling it. And um, those emotions, that programming of, well, where is it? Why isn't it here yet? Waiting for it, being impatient, that's kind of starting to go by the wayside. I'm just really kind of rolling with it. And you know what? If I'm okay with just sitting and allowing and fully feeling whatever it is that's going to come up, I know that my path will start to illuminate, meaning what's my next project? What's my next video? Um, what do I want to put forward and offer you guys uh, so that you could take advantage of that and, and can help you grow? So it's a very, very cool time. Again, it, for some of you, for a lot of you, it may feel a little bit strange, a little bit weird. Um, think about like, you know, when you get off the roller coaster, right? Or a hey, good example is getting off a boat. When you're on a boat and it's going like this, and then you get off the boat, it kind of feels weird just to stand still. You almost feel like you're still rocking. So being that, you know, these planets are all direct now, Mercury still in a shadow period, you may feel a little bit of that unsteadiness. So that's going to wane. That's going to going to go away. It's going to settle out and stabilize, but you're going to have this space. You're going to have this space for whatever is ready to come forward next, that high frequency light to start moving through you. So um, keep an eye on your mind, keep an eye on your ego in terms of trying to, trying to artificially fill that space, trying to find things to do to distract you, to make you feel like you're doing something to make you feel productive. That's the programming and that's the ego. And when we when we dive into that energy, we kind of, we go out of alignment and we lose touch with what's trying to come through here. So it's very important to respect and honor that stillness, that space. Remember, this is a universe of motion and the closest we can get to our true divine nature, our oneness is to sit in that stillness from time to time. So when there's not a lot coming up, there's not a lot going on, you don't have a lot of emotional baggage, things are kind of quiet, sit in that, appreciate it, allow it. That's going to further anchor you into your body. It's going to further anchor, anchor you into your heart. And that portal that's in here, you're going to just get in there, anchor in your body, anchor in your heart. You're going to start to feel the energy and it's going to start to move through you and come forward. And with that, you're going to start to be, perceive maybe what your next steps are. This is a journey. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Neville Goddard as well, because he talks about assume, you know, basically assuming the wish fulfilled. What you want your life to become, you want to start to feel it. And that goes hand in hand with this no retrograde energy, this amazing 
energy we have right now in this opportunity. So when we could get internal and pull away from all of the doing and what the mind thinks we should be doing, and we could sit in here and we could sit with these feelings that I already have everything that I require. I lack nothing. Nothing is separated from me. And we could start to feel that and we could actually start to live from that perspective, from that perspective, okay? We're living from that perspective. So if you have a vision of your future where you're very, you know, financially secure, financially set, you have a thriving coaching business, maybe you're helping many, many people, whatever that desire is for you, if you could sit in this stillness and just feel that energy as though it's already happened, you are being given a great, great opportunity now to bring clarity to that vision. Now, that vision, whatever it is, if it resonates deeply in here, then that vision is in alignment with your soul's path. And when we can bring the mind and the emotional state feelings together and sit in there, that is going to draw those experiences to you. Think of yourself, I'm getting these visions right now of being in a house with many, many rooms, many rooms, many doorways, and each doorway represents a possible potential future. Now, everything has been created already. Okay, Neville talks about this. Everything's been created already, but we just have yet to align with it. Okay, so think of it as opening up these different doors, and you're trying to find the door that is your soul's path, your future, what you truly desire in your heart. And the way we find that door amidst all these potential possibilities is bringing the thought together with the feeling, the emotion. That state comes together in a marriage and it resonates deeply. And that allows us to hold that space for that particular timeline, that event, that future to land and manifest. This no retrograde time, absolutely powerful for that. So if you're sitting and you're meditating and you're having a hard time envisioning or feeling this, just get into the heart space and allow these emotions to start to rise. Um, you could have a thought of what you want your life to look like in terms of helping others, bringing forward your light, whatever it is, bring it in, hold it steady hold it center and fully feel it. And it's very important to be able to do this throughout your day. I've done videos on manifestation, the law of attraction and meditation. Um, guys, I mean, let's let's admit it. We'll sit and we'll envision or visualize um, how we want our life to become in, for 20 minutes in meditation. And then we leave the meditation, we stop meditating and we're off back in the land of programming and our subconscious is throwing all these frequencies out there that are lower, not in alignment with that vision and what manifests all of those thought forms that are coming from the subconscious mind. That's how we continue to end up in resistance throughout our day and run into situations and triggers and things that don't resonate because we are manifesting from the subconscious mind. Now, when we could hold these higher frequencies in here and have a clear vision of, of our future of gratitude and realize that we have that now, we possess it now and feel from that emotional state and bring the thoughts together with the emotions, sit and fully feel that. And throughout your day, go back to that, do it before you go to bed at night when you're drifting off into theta state, um, do it when you first wake up in the morning, put it on a post-it note, talked about that where you can remind yourself instantly and get back into that thought pattern, bring it back in and feel it, do it throughout your day. You're going to start to create new habits and override that subconscious program. You're going to reprogram it. So your subconscious mind is going to start throwing out those frequencies throughout the day in the background. We want that background programming to be in alignment with the vision, with the life that we want to manifest. And that all starts with taking an active role and getting into here in your heart and fully feeling those frequencies, fully envisioning that you have everything that your mind is telling you you're seeking, that it's here. The life that you want already exists, and you are feeling that life from the perspective of living that life, not a perspective of that life in the future. You are living that life now, despite what your five senses show you, what your eyesight shows you. Your eyesight might show you lack, 
say you're a coach, you want a lot of clients, a lot of people to help, they're not quite coming yet. Well, that's your eyesight. Your eyesight is showing you lack. But if we could get back in and feel that we have everything we need right here, and we're grateful for the light that we have, and that we're sharing that light in the moment now, and anchoring those frequencies in, the reality has to follow. That is universal law. That's the law of vibration. I've talked about that in videos as well. So very important to become. So over this no retrograde period, let's become in the present what we want our life to be. We are going to live from that frequency. We're going to feel as though it's already landed, already manifested. It's here because it is here. Remember these timelines, all these potential timelines zip up into one, into oneness. Okay. So all we're doing is we're taking this from here, an idea, a thought, and we're anchoring it in here and tying it together with the emotion that it already exists, that we're already living it. And we go from there and we watch that magic unfold and we watch our reality change. Okay. So, so powerful of a time right now to be doing that. We're not having the distraction of our reality showing us things that don't make sense, like planets moving backwards. Okay. That's a tug on our energetic field. It's bringing up stuff to clear, bringing up stuff to heal. We're in a quiet time right now, energetically, where we can make the conscious choice to fully feel the life that we want to manifest. We feel it right now. That's our creative power. Take advantage of that over the next few months. Amazing things are going to happen. I promise you that. If you're already noticing, drop a comment below. Hey, guys. Also, if you have not received my heart chakra meditation, definitely go to the link in the description and sign up for that. Use that. You can meditate with that. Get into the heart and anchor in some of these, these thoughts. Marry them to the feeling and the emotion and meditate and sit and meditate with that. And then do that throughout your day. It's an amazing opportunity for that as well. So take advantage of that if you have not downloaded it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.